Hallo zusammen, I'm your Vlog Dave. In this new video series called What Germans Think About, I want to talk about what many, not all, Germans think about a certain topic. This can be a country, a social topic, a political topic, whatever, many different things. And today I want to talk about what many and some and only a few Germans think about Brazil. Brazilian, yeah. A little disclaimer. This video is mostly about rather general topics some or many Germans tend to associate, know about or think they know about a particular topic. Or maybe just the way they think about a certain thing. It's obviously not about what all Germans think and it neither includes every single topic one could mention. The mentioned points and aspects in this video series can be based on either public statements, articles, interviews, statistics, summaries, common associations, my personal experience and also what fellow Germans, for instance friends, family, acquaintances have told me. And also the mentioned topics can, but don't necessarily have to reflect or be my own personal opinion. Of course feel free to discuss the mentioned topics, but please do it in a constructive, fair and polite way. That's not too much to ask for, I don't think. Hmm, Brazil. Brazilian. What do Germans associate with this country and its culture? Well, let's find out. A rather primary thing that comes to many German minds might be Carnival in Rio, the celebration of Carnival in Rio de Janeiro. Some German media annually mentions this huge public event and shows film snippets of the parade. Apart from this party being a traditional and eye-catching event on its own, I reckon another reason why many Germans associate this with Brazil is because Carnival, der Carnival or Fasching is a big thing in certain regions of Germany too. Well, you could say that Cologne, Köln is pretty much, well, the capital city of German Carnival, of German Karneval or Fasching. Rio de Janeiro is the capital city. Well, obviously it's not, but I don't think many Germans know about that. The city Brasilia doesn't really occur in German television or German media. I'm afraid only some Germans could name, well, three to five more Brazilian cities. That's partially because when Brazil appears in mainstream media, and I'm not using this term in a negative way here, I'm simply referring to the main and major German TV channels, magazines, online media and all that, it's usually Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo that are shown or mentioned or its particular poor districts and towns that are shown. The typical Brazilian person. I don't think that that exists because you can generalize people. But anyway, the typical Brazilian person seems to have a warm, happy and cheerful spirit or temperament. Brazilians seem to enjoy life and let's say spicy food and it's really warm and humid there. Interestingly enough though, I've heard of quite a few Germans that they'd say, well, your native language is Brazilianisch, Brazilian, so to speak. I guess this can be true and false at the same time, depending on how you want to refer to Brazilian Portuguese. So I suppose some, but not all Germans know that Brazilianisch actually is a form of Portuguese. Something told me that you guys really seem to be protective and, well, even defensive when it comes to your language. And I don't mean that in a negative way, don't get me wrong. It's just interesting to see. Pretty much all Germans know about the famous statue of Jesus and also about the Zuckerhut, the famous mountain Pau de Akuhar. I hope I pronounced that correctly, but I'm almost sure I didn't. So whenever you read or watch something about Brazil or an international event taking place in Brazil, you'll always see different, like various shots of both this statue and this mountain, first and foremost that is. And well, you might also see shots of Brazilian women, 
which are considered really beautiful over here. Sexist stereotype or not, I don't know. Maybe it's just the truth. Brazilian football, meaning soccer. Exceptional football technique and popular football players from Brazil. Major parts of the German population are really crazy when it comes to football. You could even consider it our national sport. So drawing a connection to Brazilian football, well, it's kind of obvious, I'd say. Names like Pelé, Ronaldinho or Neymar are names many Germans will have heard of. Obviously, the World Cup in 2014 and especially the historic 7-1 match put Brazil in a huge German spotlight. For instance, take a look at this subheadline. Vier Tore ins brasilianische Herz. Four goals right into the Brazilian heart. Which refers to the German team that scored four goals in only seven minutes. Yeah, I know it hurts, but... Well... But I'd say instead of mocking the Brazilian team, we will always remember Brazil as a really cool country in terms of football because we became the world champions. Truth be told though, there has been quite a lot of public criticism on the way this World Cup was approached on the Brazilian side and also by the FIFA. So, for instance, when I talked to friends and acquaintances about this event back in the day, many of them indeed looked forward to watching good football matches, obviously, but they also criticized how fake some aspects were to this whole event and how so much money got invested in building gigantic stadiums next to favelas and quite poor people. All in all, I think it's pretty safe to say that the majority of Germans are pretty much aware of the living conditions in certain parts of Brazil. For instance, the poverty in certain regions or the favelas and, well, yeah, similar things. But another thing that's pretty safe to say is that most Germans don't really know anything about Brazilian politics or politicians. Hell, they might not even know the name of the Brazilian president. At least I didn't before I looked it up. It's Michel Temer. I have never heard of him before and I've never seen him either. You just won't find many information on Brazilian politicians or politics in German mainstream media that is. But keep in mind this doesn't mean many Germans aren't interested in Brazil at all because that's simply not the case. We surely recognize the Brazilian flag when we see it but knowing details about Brazilian politics or politicians, well, not really. Many Germans also associate Brazil with kind of spicy food and maybe also candy that's considered rather sweet compared to German candy. But I don't think many Germans know particular Brazilian food products or dishes. And in case you want to send me something from your country, for instance, typical candy that I should taste, well, don't hesitate to do so. You can find my P.O. box address and additional important information in the video description. Another thing I'd like to mention is Zamba, a dance style. I'd personally assume it's more than just that to many Brazilians, because the way I've personally perceived Brazilian people talking and referring to their own culture and country through media, certain keywords like Zamba rather express a general feeling or perception of traditions. It all seems to be summed up in a word like Zamba, which I think is really cool. Last but not least, I wanna mention a song that was a huge, huge hit in Germany back in 1997, I think it was. I'm talking about the song Samba de Janeiro by Bellini, which actually are a German pop group. I didn't know that. So, sadly enough, I can't play or show you the song out of copyright reasons, that is. But you can find a link to the music video in the video description down below. Well, truth be told, I think this was my very first connection to Brazil or the Brazilian culture and how we kind of perceive and associate it. And well, what can I say? I'm a curious person, so one day I might take a trip to Brazil. Yeah, be there on vacation and well, seeing some places and all that. So I think that might be fun. So yeah, obviously there's much more to Brazil, 
but I think this should do for now. And just in case a Brazilian YouTuber is watching this, greetings from Germany, first and foremost, obviously. But what about doing a video like this the other way around? You guys telling me or us what you associate and think about Germany. However, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and this new series and share this video with other people that might be interested in this. Thanks for watching, however. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.